video contains sarcasm, dry humor, irony, and innuendos. Viewer discretion for the easily offended is advised. Hey, hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back. Happy Wednesday, hump day. Hopefully you guys are all having a good week. Um, at the time of recording, it is Monday. Uh, mostly because I'm not going to be able to probably even get out of the driveway tomorrow. We'll see. Uh, local area, they... They're in the neighborhood, they like recoat the streets, I guess, to help, you know, keep down maintenance. So, I mean, that's good. At least there's no potholes. I'm over those after 21 years. But, uh, so we're out at it. I'm gonna try to make as much money as we can. Got slightly a little bit later of a start than I would have liked to, but apparently I'm also recovering from the last like two or three days, so. I slept right past my alarm. If you guys have done it, I know some of you, you definitely have, um, let me know. So, we got DoorDash going. Hopefully we don't have to wait too long. And uh, I'm sure we'll talk about something today. We usually do. Sometimes it's a positive thing. Sometimes it's, yeah. Let's make that money. All right, starting off the day, Taco Bell, 675. Total will probably not be higher. I, I don't know. It might. It could be. Who knows? I'm just hoping it's ready. What's the name? Uh, John. Let's see. No drinks. Yep. You are all set. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. At least they're somewhat on top of it. Just means the the good crew's working today. Oh, Mother Nature's a little bipolar today. Sunny over here, cloudy over here. Leave it door and ring doorbell. Three seventy five base, three dollar tip. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Five dollar McDonald's. Better than the three twenty five that I turned down. Ew. They did. Nice. I actually like those. Probably saves a little bit of time. It is sad though. <laughs> In gig work, you get it. We get excited over sturdy drink holders and new stickers on bags. Two dollar base, three dollar tip. All right, we got an eight dollar three mile Napa, also known as a no tip order, but it's an order. I would like to see the inside of a store today, though. That'd be that'd be great. Cascade Electrical. Looks like that one. And Threadlock. Perfect. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. These sometimes have multiple, so I always look at the order number, which is the invoice number. Alright, we got a little bit of an issue. This building says 1100. The one across the street behind me says 1119. And the address 
in the app says 2319, so. But the pin's on this building. So we're going to find out. Hey, I got a Napa order. DoorDash? Yes. For here? Yeah. Okay. It's Cascade Electric. Yeah, it is. They didn't, uh, I got a little confused by the address because it said 2319, but the building says 1100 and that one says 1119. So. We used to be over there, so like sometimes we're at. Okay, that's all right. I just need. You might need a sign. I do if the app wants to cooperate. Okay, that's new. I guess I need to take a picture. All right, what's the first name? Stacy. EY or just Y? EY. All right, I'm gonna squiggle. Awesome, thank you. You too. That took entirely way too long. Thanks, DoorDash. We already know, $8 ineligible for tip, but I need your guys' help. After that drop off, I need your help on this because somebody please make this make sense. On a leave it door order, you have to take a picture showing DoorDash and the customer where you left the order. When you pick up an order, sometimes you have to take a picture of the receipt to show DoorDash and the customer that you draw, that you picked up the right order. Now I have to take a picture of a of a product of the the package the item the the delivery before i can collect a signature and name on a hand to customer at a business how does this make sense what what purpose does this actually serve i thought the name and the signature were to confirm that the order was received So what's the point of taking needing to take a picture? Please, somebody pull out some construction paper and some crayons and, and explain this to me like I'm a five-year-old because I don't understand it. I don't know. This is idiocracy. We continually are now having to do more work, an, an extra step, and you guys might say, some of you guys might say, well, it's only taking a picture. It's only an extra few seconds. I want you to think back. For those of you that have been doing DoorDash for a year, two years, three years, four years, how many times they've continually decided to add, here's an extra step, here's an extra step, here's an extra step, now we're going to lower your pay, here's an extra step. This is ridiculous. I mean, what's next? Am I going to have to have a blood sample? Am I going to have to look at everybody's ID to make sure they are who they say they are? I'm really starting to see why people are afraid and worried that autonomous delivery and robots will take over. Because we are the lab rats. If we can do these mindless, thankless tasks and not question anything, then it should be pretty easy for, for them to train a robot to do this. I know we're getting towards the end of 2025, and it may be a tad bit early to, to ask you guys this, but you know what, I'm gonna ask you guys anyway. I want you to put down in the, in the comments your predictions for 2025. What, what are we gonna see over the course of the next year? And a year from now, because I'm going to screenshot, I'm going to screenshot all your comments, and a year from now, we're going to look back, and we're going to see who was right, who wasn't, how close we were, so put them down. I don't care how crazy they are, put them in the comments, 
and a year from now, we're going to talk about it. I'm going to go get some more caffeine, though, because, one, I need it, two, I want it, and three, it, it, I'm doing DoorDash, I need it. Margarita Factory, 550. Still waiting on a shopping order. They got to exist. I hope. Hey, Charlie picking up for Charlie. And I'm not ready. How you doing, buddy? Good, how you doing? Got an order for Charlie. What is the compromise for you? It's coming out. Okay. But what? For Charlie? Great, thank you. No problem. Thank you. You too, thanks. One thing I forgot to mention in my little rant. I would like to see in 2025 we stop coddling to idiots and making things easy. No, it's life. Life isn't supposed to be easy. Uh, I deliver to this place almost daily. I've come to the conclusion they don't know how to cook. Who in the comments, who watching right now uh, knows how to cook? $2 base, $3.50 tip. Three and a half hours waiting for a shopping order. Now first, let, let's, let this be a lesson to everybody watching. Be very, very, very specific on what you ask for. Because we're doing this 725 one item and it's a gallon of milk. That's it. One gallon of milk. All right, one gallon of skim milk. Basically water that's lying about being milk. That's it. Hello. Milk run? I guess so. They don't pay me enough to ask questions. That's right. I still do every once in a while. Okay, no tax on this one, so we're good. Great, maybe, thank huh? you. Bra. When do you stop? Five o'clock. When I've had enough of people. You do. All right. Snap a picture. Pictures and pictures and pictures. Dang, took me a minute to find number nine. You'd think it'd be between 8 and 10. There's 16. Here's 9. And there's 10. Nothing makes sense anymore. Just gonna randomly throw nine between whatever and whatever. Did they tip? Come on. No, of course not. So uh, after that, Albertsons, uh, they tried to send us back to Albertsons. 1275, 10 and a half mile, eight item. I said no. Then a nine dollar or nine mile, eight item. Then uh, somehow this is a high-paying order, DoorDash, really. 451 mile, five item. 
And instead we're doing this 854.1 mile Dairy Queen. Somehow this Dairy Queen's better than any of those shopping orders. on the screen and got an order for Samantha. Can I get the order for Samantha? You too. Thank you. I want a cookie dough blizzard. Extra cookie dough. Maybe if I make enough, I'll do that tonight. Almost got ran over. Not going out that way. Not while doing DoorDash. The verdict. Two dollar base, six fifty tip. I'm waving the white flag today. I can't do it anymore. I, I can't do it anymore today. We're finally getting some shopping orders sent to us, and they are complete crap. They're trash. I wouldn't take them, and if I wouldn't take them, I know the majority of you guys wouldn't take them. We got the Dairy Queen dropped off, and then they sent us this $27.37 six mile, three shop, 60 item order. That's an average of $9.20 items for each customer. No. Not gonna do it. I looked at the items. I'm not gonna do it. Then they sent us the 1325 10 and a half miles Safeway and Little Caesars going to the same customer. No. Dollar to a mile? No. Not doing it. Then they sent us this 1450 11 mile 11 item. Again, not going to do it. After taking that 725 one item with no tip, really makes you wonder if there's a tip on a $14.50 11 item 11 mile offer. So. I, I, I can't do it. We have declined six, seven, seven out of our last eight offers. I never ever do that. Ever. The only time I've done that is on an absolute trash day where I don't want to ever do DoorDash again. And instead of not ever wanting to do DoorDash again, we're just going to call it a day. So for the day, we're online for a whopping five hours. Completed eight deliveries for 71 bucks. I know what you're saying. It's 14 20 an hour. Not great. Drove 30 miles, averaging $2.37 a mile. The highlight is we only went through a gallon of fuel today. There's always an upside somewhere. Sometimes you, you got to look for it. And uh, for the dollar challenge, we're putting $10 in. Two shopping orders and eight regular deliveries so i don't know why mondays have been so rough lately 
Monday rough here, last Monday rough in Nebraska. Like I'm used to make it, I'm used to have coming out on Mondays and easily making 150 bucks. Easily. Even out here, we've had some really good Mondays. I don't I don't know. Anyway, appreciate you guys as always for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know the spiel. And uh we'll be back on Friday, so be safe, have fun, make that money, and yeah, watch out for the crazy people.